you've had you had a really successful you know music career, uh, four strong wins, the quintessential Canadian song, much to your surprise even. Uh, but you're pretty much as successful as a as a cowboy, um, mm -hmm. and you did. You'd sort of do one, then do the other, and then there are times when you tried to do both at the same time. Yes, and 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 there's there there have been times, lots of times when uh, one has suffered because of the other. I mean, it happens. But sometimes you you get into that sweet zone, and and they both work. You can't you can't. It's like keeping the balls in the air that you're juggling. It doesn't happen all the time, but occasionally it does. But w uh, if you're a writer. I, I think that's good because one feeds off the other, you know. I mean, my my songs, uh, the majority of my songs that I wrote through the 90s and 80s, they all came out of the ranching life. What I'm writing now is, uh, I've written so many of those songs, I'm trying to, I'm writing songs about Africa now and and uh, having been over there a couple of times. And, and uh, I mean, the last song I wrote was, a, it, it, I didn't intend it to be, but it's, it's just kind of a retro English, 70s pop song, you know, it's it's kind of it's kind of neat. Uh, it's called "Song in a Dream," but it's it's I can just hear, you know, I can hear the Seekers singing that song. You know, it's it's very it's English 70s pop. So how did that? I don't know where that came out of, but what's the kick now? Um, I, I know the the horse will always be a kick. That's just a given. Um, is it the song? You writing? don't intend that to be a pun, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you want to whack me over the head with a horse, you'll go ahead. Uh, what's the kick? Is it the writing? Is it the performing? Is it just jamming with musicians you really respect and seeing what you can do? What you know? I don't jam very much, and, and I wish I did, because I, you know I live in an isolated place, uh, and I re regret that you're know, living outside of Calgary. So, great. Great people come through Calgary, and I always hear about it ten days after they were there, you know. But we're starting to get them in our little towns now too, you know. We had and um, our little in High River and and that and Longview. Uh, the the times are tougher now, so we're we're getting some pretty good musicians. But uh, but performing is um, is what I really like now, and I, I I like it more than ever. We're playing better than we ever did. Uh, my new guitar player is. He he bounces off me and I bounce off him and we we were playing really good. The travel is disgusting. Uh, the border crossing is uh, there is ugly, just ugly. But um, you know if you if you don't let that discourage you too much, it's still you know we we we've gone back to driving. Uh, the last, in the last little while, we've taken a couple little tours driving, and it's great. It was like old times, you know. The flying is awful. Your voice is um, not the same voice that I remember, but um, a lot of people like the new voice. And I, it, you got kind of a craggy face now. You're still a handsome guy, but the, the new voice actually goes with the face. Does that make any well, sense? Well, it, it goes with the stories. Yeah, it goes with the stories, I think, and and uh, people say that, you know it's uh, uh, I'm delivering them, uh, delivering the lyrics in a you know in a more relevant way that that uh, that captures the you know the the voice fits those stories and if uh, and uh, and and I started doing I started doing them in in, in a somewhat more uh, well, I don't think emotional is the right way. It, yeah, I guess it is. But you know, not not trying to be overly dramatic in the you know in in the vaudeville Broadway sense or anything. But but uh, I I worked harder because I was you know uh, I was concerned. You know, I was worried about my voice and I, how am I going to sell these stories? How, how am I going to tell these stories in a way that entertains folks and takes them away on that journey? You know, and uh, so. I worked real hard at it, and it's it's kind of paid off. It, it uh, it's, it's kind of given me a you know formed a style which which seems seems to be working. By the end of the book, you seem and sitting across from me now pretty comfortable in your skin. But you know, early on in the book, not, not so much. But now, mm. you, you think you've found Ian Tyson? Well, I don't know if I found Ian Tyson, but I've I've. Uh, I've 
I've regained, uh, you know, I've gained some uh, some uh, peace, I think, uh, acceptance to, to that I can't certain things I can't change, and um, and and I think a, a little more. Uh, a little more successful in, in, in living in the moment, which I think is real important when you get old, you know. You live in the moment and, and, uh, and live, live it as, as best you can in that, within that moment. Because, uh, you know, you don't have a long, you don't have, uh, you're not bulletproof anymore. You don't have unlimited time. And uh, so you got to, you gotta, that's why I went down the Colorado River last month in a, on a raft, and it was magnificent, you know, magnificent journey. I wouldn't have done that 20 years ago. No? I'd, well, I'd be too busy. Be too busy at the ranch, or too busy doing a show, or, you know. So I've, I'm, it's an old cliche, but I, I'm, I'm trying, you know, smelling the roses, so, or trying to. The book is Ian Tyson, The Long Trail, My Life in the West. I've been speaking with the author, Ian Tyson, and The Long Trail, published by Random House of Canada.